is Shelly from Every Little Thing Yoga, and I am so excited that we get to practice yoga together today. Now, by me, it's getting a little colder out. We might see some snow soon, so I thought we would do a wintry-themed yoga class. And I also wanted to add in an element of celebration. Many of us are celebrating holidays. Maybe we celebrated Diwali recently. Maybe we're celebrating Hanukkah or Christmas. Or maybe we're just celebrating that we get some time off school for winter break and we get to spend time with our families. Whatever we're celebrating, I thought that we would blend that together and have a winter celebration themed class today. Now, before we begin, I want to remind everybody that yoga should never hurt. It shouldn't be an ouch, and it shouldn't be painful. It should feel good in our bodies. So if you ever feel something that's not just the stretch, it just really feels like it hurts, make sure you take a break. You can sit down crisscross applesauce. You could go into child's pose. You could even lay down on your mat or your blanket or wherever you're practicing, right on the floor. And then once you feel like you've taken a good break, taken a few breaths, you can jump right back into the class. I also want to let everybody know that one of the really, really cool things about yoga is that we can change poses to make them work better for our bodies. So let's say we're up on one leg and we're balancing in tree pose and your body just feels way too wibbly wobbly and you feel like you're gonna fall, it doesn't feel right. You could change that pose and do it by sitting crisscross applesauce on the ground and keeping your back straight and tall, putting your leaves up in the air. So you're still in the tree pose, but you're in a much safer version of it for your body that day. You also could even lift up one leg and try to balance that way so you feel the balancing part of the pose, but you don't feel like you're going to tip over or get worried or get hurt. So just think of whenever you feel like a pose doesn't work for you, you could come up with a way that might work and still let you have fun and participate right along with the class. Now, if you have one, go ahead and grab a cozy blanket for the end of class. We're going to do a wintry adventure, uh, imagination adventure at the end, and it'd be nice to be all curled up in a blanket. I know my house is starting to feel a little bit colder these days. And if you have a pillow, go ahead and grab the pillow, and you can use it for your head at the end as well. If you don't have either of these things, that's completely fine. You'll still have a great class and a great end of the class. But I just wanted to let you know ahead of time so you were all ready when we got to the end. All right. So how about we start with a breathing exercise? Let's put our hands on our belly to remember what those belly breaths feel like. So in yoga, we breathe in through our nose or our mouth, especially if your nose is a little stuffy. Breathe in. And then you feel the breath go down your chest and all the way to your belly. Let's give that a try. And then when we let it out, we can feel our hands actually moving on our belly. I'll turn to the side so you can see. So I'm going to breathe in. And then let all the air out. See how my hands fill up with the air and then let the air out of my belly? So that's the way that we know we're taking those good, deep belly breaths. Now, we're going to blend that today with some hot cocoa imagination. Imagine you have a cup of hot chocolate, and it could have one big giant marshmallow in it. It could have a ton of little marshmallows in it, and you want to drink it so badly, but it's still really, really hot. We don't want a burnt tongue or a burnt roof of our mouth, right? So let's hold it up to our, our face, and we breathe in. Do you smell the hot chocolate? I smell it so chocolatey. And then we breathe out to cool it off. Make sure you breathe gently and slowly. Do you know what happens when you breathe too quickly on, on um, liquids? Sometimes they go and your breath sends them out and then it spatters everywhere. And now you have hot chocolate on the floor instead of in your mouth and in your belly. So let's try it again. Breathe in. Smell the chocolate and then breathe out. Good job, is it? Let's touch it. Oh, it's still a little hot. I think one more should do it. Breathe in and breathe out. Oh, now it's just right for drinking. Let's take a sip and then bring your hands to your belly and on the exhale go, mmm, that's some good hot chocolate. Now we'll set it over to the side because we might bring the hot chocolate back later in the class. But for now, 
How about we warm up our bodies a little? Now, if you've done classes with me before, you know that we often do a pose called cat-cow, and that's a way that we can warm up our backs and get our bodies moving. Today, for the winter theme, I thought we might do polar bear snow leopard. So polar bear is going to be our cow, and snow leopard is going to be our cat, because snow leopards are really just giant big cats. So let's get on hands and knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Put them right under your shoulders. And then we're going to breathe in, and we're going to point our eyes, and you can even tilt your head a little bit up towards the sky, and let your belly sag down. Take a nice belly breath as you breathe in. So we breathe in. And imagine we're big, strong polar bears, and then breathe out and round your back, kind of like a Halloween cat, and you're a snow leopard. Good job. Breathe in. You can even go rawr, like a polar bear, and then breathe out, and you're a snow leopard again. Let's do it once more. Breathe in. Maybe use your other hand, rawr, and then breathe out. Last snow leopard. And then we're going to push ourselves back into quiet mouse or child's pose. And you can keep your arms out in front of you or you can tuck them in next to your sides and put your head gently on the ground in front of you and pretend you're a little mouse burrowing in for the winter. Take a breath here. Breathe in and breathe out. And then we're going to come up on our hands and we're going to crawl them forward a little bit. And we're going to crawl our legs back a little bit and we're going to push up into down dog. Or today we're going to call it Arctic Wolf. So crawl those hands forward. Crawl your feet back and you make kind of a V with your body. We're Arctic Wolf, big and strong. And then we're going to walk or jump or hop forward, and we're going to be folded over, and then we're going to slowly, slowly rise up and put our arms towards the sky, and we're going to be greeting the sun. Although in the Arctic in the winter, the sun doesn't barely shine at all, so maybe we're greeting the moon. We can make our hands a little wider, like we're a big, full moon. Right, and then we're going to fold forward once more. Fold, 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 fold. And then we're going to come down back to our quiet mouse pose. We're going to take a breath in. And out. Nice job. Come on, back up. So now I think we have our bodies all warmed up. We have our breath all warmed up. I thought we would sing a song. Now, I don't know if you know this song, but we'll sing it three times through. We're going to sing the very beginning part of Let It Snow. Not let it go, let it snow. So it starts like this. I'm going to start sitting, and then I'll do a standing version. So whichever one works good for your body today, you do that. If the sitting one, if you like that one the most, you stay sitting while I stand up. Or if you like the standing one, you can join me standing, all right? So we're going to go like this. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Nice work. Should we try that one standing up? So we'll do the same song and pretty much the same motions, just a little different movement. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. And crouch down. But the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, so whichever one was your favorite, we're going to do it one more time, and we'll do it together. Are you ready? 
Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow. Nice job, my friends. That's a fun song, and that's a good way to get ourselves moving too, isn't it? So now, I thought we would play the cookie game. If you've ever played the sandwich game with me, or the pizza game, or the s'mores game, this is very similar. We are gonna make cookies together. They could be holiday cookies, they could be winter cookies, whatever cookies you want to make. So we're gonna put our legs out in front of us and in my family we have a tradition where we have a day or two and we make tons of cookies they cover the tables and the counters and any open space and then we package them up and we bring them to our friends and our neighbors uh, my daughter started doing the same way that sometimes friends boo you at halloween and drop off candy and ring the doorbell and run we, for the past few years, have been elfing friends, so we'll bring our baked goods and our cookies, and we'll ring the doorbell and rack them all up and then run and leave a little elf surprise on their doorstep. So it's kind of fun to have traditions with family, and it's really fun to share with, um, with our friends and our neighbors. And it doesn't have to be anything big or expensive. It's something that you make yourself, but everyone enjoys it, and it's really, really a fun thing to do. So let's make the cookies. We first have to make the dough. Now, we should sit like this. Bring your feet together and we'll make the dough. So we have a big mixing bowl in front of us. And we're gonna pour in some, we'll, we'll put in some butter, we'll pour in some sugar, and we cream them together. So we're using our big stirring, could be a spoon or a spatula, stir it, stir it. Great work, and then go the other way. Oh, it's already getting a little thick, but we can do it. We are strong. Stir it, stir it. Good job. Now, what kind of cookies should these be? They can be whatever you want them to be. Maybe there's some cocoa powder. Maybe there's some nuts or chocolate chips. Um, maybe you like making gingerbread. I like gingerbread a lot, so you have some cinnamon and some nutmeg and some cloves. We have to make sure to add the baking soda and the baking powder, and then we grab the flour, that's usually a big bag. Shake, 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 shake. Oh boy, this is gonna be really hard to do. Can we try it one more time? All right, so all your favorite flavor ingredients are in. Add in anything else you need, reach and put it in. Then grab your spoon and stir. And this time we have to go really far back and really far forward because this dough got really thick. All right, let's change directions. Go really far forward and really far back. Great job. Okay, maybe one more. Let's see if we can do one more. Oh, beautiful work. So then we'll pick up the bowl, reach it over to the side, and then we stretch our legs out because now our legs are wherever you would roll out dough. Maybe it's a kitchen table or a kitchen counter. And we're gonna scoop up the dough and splat, put some on there. And now we need to roll it. So we're gonna grab our rolling pin from over here, hold your rolling pin, and then we go back and forth, back and forth. Maybe we go to the side a little because we have a lot of dough here. Go to this side. Once more to the other side, and then this side. Oh, great. We have a giant sheet of dough. We are all ready to make our cookies. So what shape should we make? It can be any, any shape you want, really. Maybe you have some reindeer that you like to make. Maybe it's some um, Christmas trees. Maybe it's some stars. Maybe it's actually in our house. We have a holiday turtle that I always make. I found him once and I just love a little cookie cutter and he doesn't really have anything to do with any of the holidays, but he's a lot of fun. So we do a holiday turtle. You could even make him a little hat out of dough if you want. So we 
keep stamping all of our cookies. So reach really far, make sure you get every part of the dough. Use all the different parts. Maybe pick up a different cookie cutter and use it over on this side. Nice work. Pick up this cookie cutter, use it on this side. All right, we have made so many cookies. So let's try to peel the dough away from the ones that we cut. This can always be a tricky part. Peel, 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 peel. And then we put it over to the side. Nice job. So now we have all of our little cookies ready. And they look pretty good, but what do we need to do next? <gasps> That's right, we need to bake them. So we're gonna put them on cookie sheets. So here's a cookie sheet over here on one side. Let's scoop up our cookies and put them on the sheets. Scoop, scoop. Scoop, scoop. Good job. Maybe we have a cookie sheet on this side, so we're going to scoop some more of the cookies. Put them over here. Can you fit them all on your cookie sheets? Great work. Then we're going to pick up both cookie sheets, and we're going to fold forward and put them in the oven. Nice job. Now, how long do they need to be in the oven? Maybe eight minutes? Maybe ten minutes? Let's count. So we're going to go one, two, three, Four, let's pee. Oh, not ready yet. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's peek again. Oh, not quite ready yet. Nine, ten. Ding. Oh, they are all set. So we're going to lean forward again, pull them out of the oven, put them on the sides, and then we have to let them cool. Waiting, waiting. Okay, I think they're cool enough. We're going to scoop them up and put them back on our legs. Okay, and we get to decorate them now. So maybe we're going to use some colored frosting. Scoop, frosting, 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 frosting. Scoop, frosting, 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 frosting. What else can you put on cookies? What do you like on your cookies? Maybe some sprinkles. Let's reach up here. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Maybe some of that colorful shimmer sugar. I really like that. Pick that up. Shake, 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 shake. Maybe some mini chocolate chips or some red hots on the top. Let's see. Scoop. Shake, 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 shake. Scoop. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, wow. My cookies look pretty beautiful. Do yours look beautiful? All right. I think we're all done. So let's scoop the cookies off. Lean forward once more. Put them to the side. And then we'll save them for later to enjoy with our family and friends. Great work, everybody. All right, so now we've done our cookie game. We've done our hot cocoa breath. We've done some fun, wintry animals. I think we should go on a snow adventure. What do you think? So we're gonna start by sledding. And now, if you've never been sledding, that's where we just sit on a, um, a plastic or a wood sled and it's on runners and we go down a hill and it's really fast and it's really fun and if you fall off, you land in snow, so you're absolutely fine. So we're gonna sit, this is called um, staff pose in yoga. I'll turn sideways just so you can see what I'm doing as well. Legs out in front, just like we had before, and a nice tall back. You wanna feel like your head is over your heart and your heart's over your seat. All right, so we're gonna get in that pose and we're gonna hold on to the string in front. Maybe we're steering the sled. Sometimes the sled steers you. We're gonna hold on and we're gonna go this way. And we're gonna go this way, we wanna avoid any rocks, oh, or any trees, oh my goodness. And then we go down, we put our arms in the air, yay! And then we're almost at the bottom, and whew, fold forward. You made it to the bottom. Oh, that was kind of a crazy ride. Now, we've done sledding, I think we should try skiing. Have you ever been skiing? It's a lot of fun, you can go cross country, which is kind of more like walking and running in skis, or you can go downhill where you um, go down amongst all the trees and things. I think today we're going to try downhill. So we're going to get up and we are going to go on a chairlift. That's how you get to the top of a mountain. So we first have to put on our skis. Let's put our skis down, fold forward, set those skis down, put one foot in, put the other foot in, click in, lift up those heels. Did the skis come with you? All right, you did a good job. Now we're going to kind of duck walk because when you're in skis, they go out like this and you sort of have to duck walk and we're going to get to the chairlift. Nice job. And now a chairlift, we sit down 
like a chair, I'll turn sideways so you can see. So I'm like this, bend down, and then we're seated, seated in a chair. Now when I'm on the chair lift, I always like to dangle my feet and kick them. So you might want to try lifting one leg and kicking it with your ski. Just don't lose your ski. You can try it with the other leg. This is pretty tricky. You want to try it one more each side. Lift that leg. Lift the other leg. Great work. And then, oh, we got to the top. We hop off the chair lift and we are at the top of our mountain. So let's do mountain pose. Feet together. Great work. Now, being at the top mountain can be kind of scary, but it can also be a lot of fun. We've got our skis. We are all set to go. So we're going to get back into ski position. And ski position is a lot like what we did on the chairlift. You bend your legs like this, but we're going to keep our legs a little bit wider. And we're all ready to ski. So keep your, pretend your skis are on. You keep your knees bent so you're ready to move around any obstacles you see. And we'll ski together. So you can hold your poles in your hand. And we're going to ski. And we're going to go back and forth. And oh no, there's a tree. Oh, ski around the tree. Everyone do tree pose. Nice work. And then back to ski pose. We're going to keep skiing, skiing, skiing. Oh, another tree. Go on the tree pose on the other side. And remember, you can have your leg up high here. You can have your leg right here, or you can even have it on the ground just supporting you. Good job. Back to skiing, skiing, back and forth and back. And we're almost there, and we made it to the bottom. All right, let's take off our skis. So we kick down on our ski, get one foot free, kick down on our ski, get the other foot free, and now we're going to walk and go back to the lodge or the ski chalet. We walk over there, and sometimes this can be the best part. Skiing is so much fun. And then when you're all done after a hard day of skiing, you get to relax and sit on a cozy couch in front of a fire, and you can have hot chocolate again. So we're gonna do our hot chocolate breath as a cool down. You also could have soup. So if you wanna pretend it's soup to do something different, that would be a nice thing that would warm you up after a long day on the slopes. So hold your cocoa or your soup in front of you. Sit in a nice, comfortable seat. We want our back nice and tall. And we're gonna do the same breath we did before. So we'll breathe in and then breathe out. Good job. Let's do that two more times. Breathe in and breathe out. And one last time. Breathe in, breathe out. Give it a little test. Oh, it's all ready, so we'll take a sip. Yum. Oh, that was wonderful, hot chocolate. Sometimes I think hot chocolate tastes even better when you've worked really hard throughout the day and you've been all cold and now you get to come inside and be toasty and warm up with it. All right. So we have done so much today, and now it's time to get ready for bed. I thought we might sing a song that I like to sing with my kids sometimes before bed. And it's nice in the winter especially because a lot of times when I think of the winter sky, I think of how dark it is on a cold winter's night. And there's lots of beautiful stars out there. And this is called Starlight Shining. So let's get in a comfortable seat again. And it goes like this. We'll sing it a couple times through so you can get the hang of it. Starlight shining, moonbeams too, shining down on me and you. Shine so bright, shine their light all through the night. Nice. Let's try that once more. Starlight shining, moonbeams too, shining down on me and you. Shine so bright, shine their light all through the night. 
nice work. All right. So now we've sung our lullaby, we've made cookies, we've skied, we've had a lot of winter adventures. I think it's time for a good night's rest. So if you have your pillow, go ahead and set it on the ground. I'm going to show you how to get all set up, and then I'm going to sit back up so you can hear me. But I want you to stay laying down, and I'll tell you when it's time to get up. Because you're going to go on an awesome, wintry adventure. So spread your blanket out. And you can look at my legs. I'm going to spread my legs wide and cover them. And then tuck myself in. I'm laying my head down on my pillow. And then let's start with our hands on our belly one last time. And we'll breathe in. And breathe out. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Once more, breathe in and breathe out. And now I want you to imagine that you are back on a sled. But this sled's a little different than the sled we had before. This sled is a magic sled. And you actually can lay down on it. It's so big. So you lay down on your magic sled. And it takes you on to a beautiful snowy path. You look up and you see that dark wintry sky. It's almost purpley. It's so deep and beautiful. And there are tons of stars twinkling. And you slowly start to sled through a beautiful winter forest. All the trees are covered in snow. They have some of those long, beautiful icicles dripping down from them and shimmering with the moonlight. Maybe you hear an owl hooting. Maybe you hear some sleigh bells off in the distance. You might even hear some of your favorite wintry songs playing very softly. And you sled and slide through this forest. You might notice some forest creatures. Maybe there's a quiet deer munching on some branches. Maybe you see a little winter hare getting ready for its rest. And as you keep going, you take some gentle twists and turns. You go past a beautiful frozen pond and it looks just perfect with the white ice and frost on the top. And then your sled turns towards the most beautiful glistening meadow that you've ever seen you know this must be where the sled was taking you the entire time. And it slides right to the middle of this lovely meadow that's sparkling and quiet. And all of a sudden you feel a lovely warmth. You know it's winter, but you look down and your magic sled has turned into a magic cozy blanket. And it's somehow heating itself so it's warm and snuggly and you're just laying on it and you feel yourself slowly melting into its warmth. So take a little breath in, and as you breathe out, feel your face relaxing, feel your neck relaxing, feel your shoulders relaxing, and your arms and your hands just melting into that warm blanket, being supported by the ground beneath you. Take another breath in and feel your chest relax, Feel your belly being nice and soft and your back relax. Feel your legs relax and the bottom parts of your legs all the way down to your feet and toes. So it feels like you're just floating on this warm, cozy blanket, being supported by it and like you could just drift off to sleep. Take a breath in and slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe make fists and then stretch them out. Get some movement back in your hands and your feet. You can maybe give your legs a gentle wiggle. And then what I want you to do is on your next breath in, roll over to one side and place your hands under your head as a pillow or maybe your head's resting on a pillow. Breathe in again. And then as you exhale, slowly, ever 
ever so slowly push up to a comfortable seat. All right, I hope that that little um, adventure imagination helped you relax a little. This is something that you could do. You could come back to it in your head um, if you're having trouble falling asleep some night or if you just need to take a, a little break to relax. This is something that you could do and imagine all kinds of awesome things that can help you calm down, relax, focus on breathing a little, and just take a rest. Rest is just as important as play. All right. So now we've come to the end of our class and we're gonna sing our Namaste song together. So we take one hand, we take our other hand, we bring them together like a giant high five and then we bring them at our heart. And it goes like this. My inner light, it shines for you. Your inner light is shining too. The beauty in me sees the beauty in you. Namaste. We'll do it once more. My inner light, it shines for you. Your inner light is shining too. The beauty in me sees the beauty in you. Namaste. Just like winter and all of its snowflakes, you are all beautiful inside and out. I had so much fun practicing with you today, and I can't wait to see you again sometime soon. Bye.